Hello and welcome back. In the previous video, I showed you how you can calculate the price elasticity of demand. In this video, I'll show you the relationship existing between the price elasticity of demand and total revenue. In fact, total revenue is the price times the quantity. For instance, if I'm selling a certain good and its price is $2 and I have sold 40 units. So the total revenue in this case will be 40 times two. It means it's $80. And also we know that the law of demand states that there is a negative relationship between price and quantity. So whenever the price increases, the quantity demanded decreases. And whenever the price decreases, the quantity demanded increases. And as you can see in the formula, of total revenue, price and quantity, they are having opposite direction. So we cannot know how the total revenue will increase or decrease. And this is where the price, of, the price elasticity of demand steps in. In fact, and as we saw uh, previously, we're having three types of elasticities. First, the price of elasticity of demand as an equation, it's the percentage change in quantity demanded divided by the percentage change in price. The first type of elasticity we're having, it's the elastic demand, where the price elasticity of demand, it's greater than one in absolute value, which means that the percentage change in quantity demanded, it's greater than the percentage change in price. So if the price will increase by 10%, the quantity demanded will decrease by more than 10%, let's say 15%. And the result will be a total revenue that will be decreasing. The same, if the price will decrease by 10%, the quantity demanded will increase by more than 10%, and here 15%. This is why we will have a total revenue that it's increasing. It's increasing because the increase, it's greater than the decrease. As you can see, 15%, it's greater than 10%. And this is why we're having a total revenue increase. We're having also the second type of elasticity where the demand, it could be inelastic. So the price elasticity of demand in this case, it's less than one in absolute value, which means that the percentage change in price in the denominator, it's greater than the percentage change in quantity demanded. So if we suppose that the price is increasing by 10%, the quantity demanded will decrease by less than 10%. So this is why we will have an increase in total revenue, since as you can see, the price is increasing more than the decrease of quantity. 10%, it's greater than 8%. The same, when the price will decrease by 10%, the quantity demanded will increase, but by less than 10%, here by 8%. This is why the total revenue will decrease since the price is decreasing more than the increase in quantity. And usually, items that they are having an inelastic demand, it's subject to taxes, like this, government can benefit and can increase their revenue, but also it's having some limitations. The third type of elasticity we're having, it's unitary elastic. And unitary elastic means that the price elasticity of demand, it's equal one, also an absolute value, which means the percentage change in quantity demanded, it's equal to the percentage change in price. So as an example, if the price increases by 10%, the quantity demanded will decrease by the same amount, by the same percentage, by 10%. This is why the total revenue will stay constant because the increase, it's equal to the decrease. And also, if the price decreases by 10%, the quantity demanded will increase by 10%, the same amount. This is why the total revenue will remain also constant. Like this in this video, we saw the three uh, conditions that we might have 
And like this, it can help us whether to increase or to decrease our prices. And we can know that if we increase our price and we're having an inelastic demand, our total revenue will increase. However, if we increase our prices when we're having elastic demand, our total revenue will decrease. So like this, we can take the right decision about our pricing. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel.